So today I thought it could be fun to go and check out London's version of Goodwill. And the only reason I'm saying that is because I saw a TikTok the other day, which I'll put on the screen now, um, of this girl I follow. She was like, going to London's version of Goodwill. And honestly, it kind of looked like a sleigh. And I was like, hmm, you know, like everyone knows that like thrifting, vintage shopping in like London, New York, Paris. I actually don't know if Paris is pretty good. I've never tried. But like cities in general tend to be like really oversaturated. All the girly pops are here like, ah, give me like the cute thrift stuff, you know? It's really hard. So I tend to find like most of my pieces on like Depop, finds, uh, Vinted, eBay, you know, Vestiaire, all those cute online places. And I do pretty well. I survive. Um, and I find really good pieces, but I do still crave that like hunt like a bargain because like Depop and like that kind of stuff, they do tend to be a bit like more expensive. So I thought why not go and have my hand at a like proper like vintage, not vintage, but like secondhand slash vintage kilo sale in London. And this kilo sale is like £10 a kilo. It's actually like in my area, so I'm like slay. I want to go check it out. And I thought why not? I could do like an honest review. So who knows if I'm going to find anything. This video could be like extremely disappointing, but either way, I thought it'd be fun to go and check it out because I feel like I see things online sometimes and I'm like, wow, <laughs> I really like went all the way there and it was like a flop, you know? Um, so you don't waste your time. I'm going to go look for you and see if this is any good. This place is also open like every day, like nine to six. So that makes me a bit sus too, like how much good stuff could there be? You know, like how are they restocking so much? Who knows? I could be surprised, I could be disappointed, but I thought it'd be fun to go and check it out. Also, this is my little outfit of the day. The top is from Depop. Um, it's one of my favorite like Depop shops. Um, her name's like Lunary. The skirt is from another one of my fave Depop shops, Thrifty Land. And then I'm wearing these like Vagabond loafers, which I'm actually really scared are gonna kill my feet because ouchie, you know, they're new, but they're really cute and I really wanna wear them. And like, what better time to break them in than right now? But unfortunately, London's in its autumn era, so I'm gonna have to find a jacket to go with this because it looks kind of cold and rainy. Ew. I also thought I would add my little coach bag because she's so cute and she's new and I'm excited to wear it. I'm going with my bestie Jade um, and she also loves vintage shopping and thrifting. I think that with two of us, we might be able to find some good stuff. So let's go. I bet you, this is not cute, I'm gonna... What happened? I thought, I saw this print and I thought it would be cute. And here we are with a boohoo dress. <laughs> Slay! Overwhelming me on Smash or pass? Pass? Smash. Toot or boot? <laughs> big boot. <laughs> That's the biggest boot I've ever seen. <laughs> What's that? <gasps> That's kind of cute. It's big though. That's cute. That is actually slay. Oh, it's whistles. I know whistles. That's cute. Show. It's good. I like that a lot. Yeah. Smash, smash or pass? pass? Smash. Smash. <laughs> I don't even have one item yet. You're like, I'm living. I'm living. I doesn't have anything. <laughs> good job. Like cheering me on. No, I do want to, I do want to actually look. This I just get overwhelmed. The texture of this is awful. Look at it. Mysterious stain with your order. Anyway. <laughs> Girly pop. That's girly pop. Smash. That's a oh. <laughs> that was a major smash. Did you show the audience my my favorite purchase of the day so far? Oh yeah. Show, show, show. <laughs> this is okay. Okay. Honest to God, would anybody wear this? Unironically, because I know I would. Y two K. Y two K. Baby T. Covid core. <laughs> Covid core. Covid, COVID core. core. Major slay. Take it to the runway. <laughs> that looks so good. Get it. Get it. Smash your pass. Smash. Okay. Let's see how much we have. Well, Jade has because I have nothing. <gasps> Three point eight. Three. That's that's 40, steady. It's like forty pounds. Yeah. But I've got. I've gotten quite a bit of stuff. Yeah, you have. That's a good bag's worth. Mhm. Mm 
Wait, wait, stop. Stop. Oh, gorgeous. I was looking for one of those. Okay, we're we going through what Jade found. Check, just the one scuff. That's fine, right? No, I like If those. I keep it for myself. Slave. Tutor boot. Two. 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 Okay. I love this, this is one. Your, is this your fave? This is one of my faves. Okay, two. I like this kind of waistband. Yeah, me too. And also, you can tie it like however you want. So yeah, it can I be think like that's tight. really cute. We're tooting that one. Big two. Oh, this was the first thing. <gasps> I found this one. Okay, so I did find something. <laughs> But, but not it wouldn't, for, fit, not it wouldn't fit me. Oh, that's, no, just, that's the wrong way. But you know what it says on it? Butterfly. Butterfly, wow. Butterfly. <laughs> but it's giving like kitsch 2000. Yeah, and it's got like this little era. Oh. And that's really cute. I like that. Oh yeah, this was a cute <gasps> little dress. This one was really good. I like this one. He's the bottom. Very cute. And it's got um, a little time moment, yeah. which is cute. No, I like that. I feel like that's like a very special. Though it's like, I guess it could be like fall vibe. No, but like it's giving summer vibes, but you could definitely wear it in the fall. Enough said. <laughs> this one's a sleigh. Is this a dress? Oh, this is the dress. This is a sleigh. It's a cute little... I literally swear I have a skirt in this exact I fabric. Literally... Yeah, I think you do, honestly. So that's but why this, I, this when I saw the fabric, well. I was like... Maybe, maybe it is the same fabric. We'll check them again. It's a bit stinky. <laughs> oh my god! <gasps> Major sleigh. Those are so, so nice. fun. Take the buckles, the slit hem. <gasps> slit, split hem. I actually really like these. I wish people for me. That's so cute. What brand is that? I wonder if they'll fit me. Miss Tick. But it's Paris. Yeah. That's so. right. <laughs> it's Paris. It's Paris. That's when you know. I'm still a bit like. I think maybe you should toot that. Toot or boots? No. I mean, sorry. Boots. boots. What's whistle? Is that America? No, it's London. Oh, of course it's blonde. <laughs> I'm um, gonna boot it. Because I've already got that dress. I think maybe boot. I think it's not the best in the web. Oh, and then this cute little number. Just like a little vest, but it's got like a cinch at the back. Very cute. Which is cute, and it's new. Brand new, so... Slay. Yeah? That reminds me of the one you're wearing. Yeah. But longer. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for coming to my haul. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to just take it out. Vintage paradise. Oh my god, that's you! Oh. <laughs> that is so cute! So I'm back home. Uh, overarching view slash overall opinions and thoughts. Time. I think Thrift Factory is great, honestly. Like the work that they do in like saving all the like you saw how many clothes there were is actually quite insane. But like saving all of those clothes, giving them to people, well, you know, allowing people to purchase them for a more affordable price, and like giving them to homes that will love them. I think if you're looking to go there to like find some things for your wardrobe, um, you know, I guess thrifting. I guess it's the closest thing to like really thrifting that I've ever seen in London. Like you have to scour. You have to probably be there for like at least three hours. We spent like two hours. So and Jade found some good stuff. I found some cute things, but nothing in my size, so I ended up not really getting anything. Also, I do have like quite a lot of clothes already, so I tend to be like I guess more fussy about like the things that I pick up it has to really be different to something I already have. Basically, anyway, I'm rambling. But I think if you're gonna go to it, A, you need to like set a good amount of time to go, like a few hours. B, I feel like it might be good to go on a weekday. We went on a Tuesday and it was so quiet, um, but I have seen videos of this place on like a Saturday and it's like around, like people going, really trying to find stuff, find gems. Obviously that's harder to do, like other people there with a similar style to you, trying to find the things that you also want to find, not a sleigh. You want to find them first, you know? So I think going on a quieter day, it's also like just more peaceful for your mind. Like you can actually look and not feel like stressed and like chaotic, but it was very intense. Um, but I think it's like a fun activity to do. I think it's like a fun thing to like scour through some stuff and like possibly find a gem. Either way, if you find something or you don't, like I think that's like the fun of it. Cause when you do find something, you're like, <gasps> sleigh, you know? So I think, overall, I think it was a fun experience. I don't think I'd be going to do that like every weekend, but I, I think as well, like that's just me. I think other people have like a really high tolerance. Jade does, gosh, she's good at scarring. But like, 
other people have like a really high tolerance. So I think if you're one of those people, you should definitely go check it out. Um, they have like a TikTok and Instagram, very cute, very slay. And it was a fun activity overall. Maybe I'll go again in like a few months, see if I can find anything um, when I'm feeling up to it. But as you saw as well, after later in the day, we headed over to Vintage Paradise and like Brick Lane. That's obviously not as much thrifting. This is kind of like what, it's like more curated, of course. So that was really fun though. Whenever I go there, um, one of my favorite spots to find like vintage clothing in London, I always tend to find a few things and I did pick up a couple things. So I wanna show you what I got. First up, I found this cute little cargo dress that like buttons up at the front and it has like a little frilly like hem, like a low waist cut and collar and little short sleeves. I thought, I thought this would be so cute for autumn with some like boots. Um, a little jacket over, like cozy sleigh. I'm very excited about this piece. Next up, I got some like camis, which I love. I love anything that's like bright, colorful, and like borderline tacky. So first up is this little like tie-dye cami moment. It's so cute and it fits really well. It's super soft. I think I put a clip of it um, in earlier or now. And it says, mom, the queen of hearts, which isn't me because I'm not a mom, but I am the queen of hearts. But yeah, so cute, love this, easy to style. I kind of like also getting stuff that I can just like throw this on with some jeans and some like sneakers and call it a day, you know? Easy to style every day. Next, I have been like loving purple lately. Like, I don't know what it is. I wear a lot of color in my wardrobe anyway, uh, but a color that I never really strive, like reach for is purple, but I've been loving it recently. I feel like it's really like actually com com complementary on my skin and my like coloring. And I never really like, I don't know, I never thought about it. And I bought a purple cardigan the other day and I was like, <gasps> So I picked up this little like D&G cami. Again, super easy to style, which is like a little denim midi skirt and like sneakers, pair of jeans. I just like getting stuff like that and I always wear this kind of stuff and reach for it a lot in my cupboard. So not too much, but lastly I picked up this little mesh asymmetric hem like midi skirt, which is so cute. It's like sheer, which is so pretty. Look at the fabric, slay. And I thought this could be really cute. I tried it on as like a dress, boob tube with like a belt over some jeans. Come for me if you will. But I saw this one picture, I'm gonna put it in here. Of this girl wearing a dress over jeans and I was like, she's popping. So I kind of wanted to recreate that look with something a bit different like this. And also obviously you can wear the skirt, so it's quite versatile. I think this could definitely be autumnal but also like kind of summery so it's quite a versatile piece I would say so I was quite proud of this one but that was my little video of me vintage shopping trying out thrifting in London let me know if you guys enjoyed this video if you did I can try to do more things like this and just some more fashion content overall I've been honestly struggling to get into YouTube a bit I tried the vlogs I'm gonna be honest I do like it um, it's all trial and error, I guess, but I did like it. It just felt like quite intruding into my personal life in the sense that like, I didn't get a lot of like work-life balance. I enjoyed it, but like not enough to be like, okay, I'm gonna do this every week. So I think the vlog here and there is a slay and I might do another one again, who knows? Um, but I really wanna like keep a focus on like fashion on here and obviously any other things that might come my way that I enjoy later on. But for now, I'd love to focus my videos on fashion, so please, let me know what you want to see. It really does help me because I'm like new to YouTube. So that definitely helps. Hairstyles, fashion videos, like what kind of content you want to see. That would be great if you could let me know. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed this one, please subscribe. Please leave a like, comment if you have anything to say. And leave it's nice. But yeah, I love you so much. And thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope this video is helpful or at least fun to watch in some way. Bye.